The National Space Club provides ongoing support to youth education initiatives and empowers today's youth and fosters engagement in astronautics and related sciences. So my name is Devika Lakara and I am a rising senior at Glenelg High School. I'm Rohan Othamsing and I'm a rising senior at Appleton High School. Hi, my name is Kaylin Fahm and I'm going to be attending Virginia Tech in the fall. My name is Kalanji Harrington. I'm a rising senior going into College Park Academy High School. My name is Ojo and I'm enrolled in the University of Maryland. We provide recognition and due honor to individuals and organizations that have contributed to the advancement of mankind in space. Um, I was inspired to join NASA because I've always had a love for computer science and I've always been interested in just the unknown and that's pretty much what NASA is about. So I've always been interested in climate science and earth science like ever since I was a little kid and I've also been interested in uh, animation. As a kid I used to like, follow what the Hubble Space Telescope was releasing or the space shuttle system or something and I've always just had an interest in science and technology. I've always been interested in science and engineering from a young age. I love all things space related and I was in the Aerospace Academy in high school. I used to work a lot with a NSBE group, National Society of Black Engineers, and a lot of them worked at NASA and they seemed to enjoy themselves at working here. And I was interested, so when I was looking for some summer internships, NASA was one of the places that I applied. I've actually been here for two summers, so there's two different projects I've been working on. So I've done project database development, which is sorting and organizing files, CADs, and documents into an online archive database. And then my second one is CubeSat simulator development. So I've been working on building a CubeSat simulator and trying to get that up and running. So um, this year working at NASA, I've worked on two main projects. The first one was creating a demo reel for the Scientific Visualization Studio, kind of compiled all their best work into one video. And then my second project is actually what you see back here. I rendered a walkthrough of a 360 video of Hurricane Maria. So my project for the six weeks that I was here was to um, help improve satellite imaging and satellite imagery by uh, calculating the angular diffraction for different wavelengths of light through light rating. So my job, along with another here, was to calculate what that angle would actually be for the difference of wavelength. I'm working on the Petit Set, Cheap Set project, and I'm constructing 3D models of flight hardware in order to construct a model of what the Cube Set is going to look like. And once we do that, the technicians are going to be able to create a flight harness. My project deals with inertial measurement units, or IMUs. They're basically motion and position determination systems that help you determine your where you're navigating towards and how to get there in space. So I'm working with testing and researching what these noise values are. Previous satellite ranging systems have been like really good. Like ISAT 2 was launched a few months ago, but they've always had the limitation in that they have to wait for the impulses to prevent uh, cloud interference. So what my project can help do is to help eliminate that wait time. I mean, so that'll obviously help increase the resolution of satellite imagery. They can also, because the um, wavelengths are in fact at all different angles, they can also give a wider view in just one path than before. So this is really important because a lot of the things that NASA works with, the data that NASA works with, it's things that you can't see. So the public doesn't really understand the science behind this. So what the SVS does is that they take this data and they make it into a visual that makes it easier for the public to understand all the science. And really it's just helping bring the branch between you know, NASA and the public closer and helping the public understand what's actually happening at NASA. Um, it's important because it's going to help the future generations of workers on the CubeSat to kind of learn how to build it, what it's going to do, and how to make it basically. What the National Space Club and Foundation has been doing for interns at Goddard Space Flight Center is truly remarkable. This internship has opened me up to a whole new world. This internship has taught me a lot in including technical skills of like soldering, computer science, but also just collaboration skills since I've been working with two other interns. I've had to learn a lot about how to be in a group and how to work together and make things happen when there's three different minds trying to get the same task done but in different ways. So um, I feel like this is an internship at NASA has been a really great opportunity. I've learned a lot, I've gotten a lot of experience working in the real field. And these are the two sorts of things that you don't you just don't get in a classroom. You have to actually work in the field to actually get this sort of opportunity and experience. I feel as if I really know what working at NASA really feels like. 
Uh, I guess it's really helped uh, rekindle my interest in technology, and especially physics. Like, when, in the future, I know I want to study computer science, but I always had an interest in double majoring if I could in either math or physics. And because my internship is really physics-based, and there's just been a lot of people here who have given really good talks on physics, I think I've decided that I want to double major in computer science and physics. This internship has made me more productive in my work. I've learned how to be going better problem solving. There's a great community here with a lot of diversity, and I love coming in to work every day and being able to work on something that I love. And I just love being here. It's, it's really a wonderful experience to feed our own pipeline and get kids inspired, engaged, and interested in becoming aerospace engineers, scientists, and support staff. So um, that's my role for the National Space Club and Foundation. I've learned a lot. Basically, I've been able to learn two or three different programming languages, just the basis of them. And then I've also learned a lot about myself and what I want to do in the future with computer science. I've been able to dive into that and what I want to do. I've learned a lot about working um, with a team because I worked with my entire office on these projects and so I've learned a lot about how visualization is a group effort, not an individual effort. I've also um, learned a lot of technical things, a lot of the softwares that I used for these projects I can't have learned at school, so I've learned a lot about using Maya and Premiere Pro, which are some of the softwares I used to make my projects. I've learned how to use 3D modeling and software like Solid Edge creating different types of parts like connectors for engineering purposes. I've also learned how to code in Python. So, my project has a lot to do with lasers just because that's what satellite imagery uses to um, do the ranging, just the sensors. So I got to learn a lot about lasers and optics and a lot of physics, which is some super cool stuff that I really like. Also, um, I've learned just how um, like people go about business. That's not something I ever had any um, experience to before. It's just really interesting to see like um, how people organize their projects, like how people um, schedule meetings, and, like what goes on in those meetings, things like that. I've learned a lot from coming in last year. I've learned a lot of skills that can help me when I'm pursuing my careers. Things with electrical engineering and computer science that can help me when I pursue good degrees in engineering. And I feel like this is a great learning experience for students, especially in high school. I knew I had to apply.